I wanted to work on generating some analog percussion sounds using op amps, similar to how the Roland TR-808 circuits were designed. So I put together a schematic with a pair of bridged T externally triggered oscillators. And PCBWay sponsored the project by providing PCBs to make it easy to set up several percussion instruments at once and tweak their parameters to get different sounds, depending on which resistor and capacitor values I choose, including these two potentiometers to tweak the pitch. The bridged T oscillator is based on a bridged T notch filter that gets placed in the feedback loop of an op amp, changing it from a notch into a bandpass filter. Using the equations for the bridge T network, the filter's center frequency and quality factor can be found for a combination of resistor and capacitor values. To use the bandpass filter as an oscillator, two conditions need to be met. The phase shift around the op-amp loop has to be a multiple of 360 degrees, including 0 degrees, and there must be enough gain. This results in a signal that can keep going through the op-amp circuit, stacking on top of itself perfectly in phase, and amplifying into a state of oscillation. Like the feedback squeal of an amplifier from a microphone located in the wrong place with too much gain. In the bridged T filter circuit, the op-amp output has a phase shift of zero degrees at the center frequency. So if we calculate a center frequency for a certain oscillator frequency that we want, we can choose the correct component values to get that center frequency, which will give us a phase shift of zero degrees at that frequency, and then all we need is enough gain to go into oscillation at that frequency. We can momentarily kick this circuit into a state of oscillation by applying a momentary trigger pulse to the op-amp circuit as a disturbance to get it to oscillate for a short period and the oscillations will fade out. Depending on the component values chosen for a certain frequency, it just so happens these oscillations sound like various percussion instruments. I have an input pin here for providing an external trigger pulse to cause the momentary oscillations, and some circuits provide a trigger pulse to the feedback network, and others provide it to the non-inverting input. So I just put a jumper here, since this is meant for experimentation, so I can put the trigger pulse in either spot. And right now I happen to be experimenting with it going to the non-inverting input. I have some optional resistors here to help establish a bias voltage here for the trigger circuit, but right now I'm not really using that, so do not install for those voltage bias resistors, and a short circuit in series here just to get my trigger pulse straight through the jumper to the non-inverting input. So using a function generator to generate trigger pulses in the form of square waves, using component values I had on hand, for these top bridging resistors, I'm using 10 megs because it has to be relatively high for the other components I'm working with. And the next lowest value I had was 1 meg, which wasn't giving me results, so I stuck with 10 megs. And I'm using a 10k pot for both oscillators, a series 100 ohms, just so that I always have at least some resistance here. Then I really just experimented with capacitor values. So using basically just a couple of nanofarads, depending how I set it up, I could make it sound like wood blocks and bass drums, and I still need to try other experiments. And for the trigger pulse, I set the square waves to be between 1 hertz and 4 hertz, just so I can hear the individual sounds and let them ring out. I had good results when the square wave was set with a 2.5 volt offset and an amplitude somewhere less than about 100 millivolts. So here's the kind of sounds I was able to get out of this.
I'll keep experimenting with other part values and trigger circuits, trying to find new sounds, and I'll provide a link in the future to a follow-up video, but in the meantime, thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring the project, and thanks for watching.